Hey folks, Mel the Train Shooter back in the studio and back with our regular Thursday behind the series vlog. Yes, the moment when I get a chance to just chat with you guys about what's going on and me getting back into the rhythm of things and that sort of stuff. My way of connecting, letting you know what's going on, letting you know the little tidbits and that sort of stuff. And I've got to say, we are, I'd say we're watch clip, we're five to one. <laughs> yeah, one little hiccup. Five really good things, yeah, so I'd say this is going to be a good vlog. Now, first off, yeah, for all of you who caught the bolt action uh, when I took the Burma board up to Bolt Storm for the D-Day board, D-Day, I'm all over the place. It's a hot day in Stoke today, yeah, the sun is shining, yeah, and I'm all over the place, <laughs> nothing new there. So, I, why am I giddy like a schoolgirl? Well, uh... I had a brilliant weekend gaming up at Boltstorm. I left the, uh, the Burma build up there. Yeah, I went up last night, yeah, and had another game on it, which was really good fun. And it's a good environment up at Boltstorm, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, and so I've left it there for the weekend. So if you're in the Leak and Staffordshire Moorlands area, yeah, on Saturday and Sunday, if you want to dig out Boltstorm, which is sort of round the back of Iceland in Leak, yeah, you can find it on your Google Maps. Yeah, look for the banners. It took me about two minutes to find it, but you can find it. The Big Burma board is there. Yeah, it's available to play on. So if you want to go play on the Big Burma board, it's in Leak for this weekend coming up. So go enjoy. Yeah, and in the meantime, yeah, if you're from the surrounding area and you want to say hello to me, I'm probably going to be up in Leek, what you call it, Wednesday nights, yeah, at the regular gaming night, because it's a lovely group, yeah, and it's just a nice vibe, do you know what I mean? I'm settling in well there, which is good for me. You know when we talked about, you know, getting into the studio and it puts a smile on my face and connecting with you guys? I'm gaming again. I mean, I'm rolling dice again. It's been so long since I've properly... I mean, I've played with the kids and odd games with mates and stuff like that. But getting in part of a gaming group, uh, there's talk and uh, Warlord Games have released, uh, what do you call it, a new box set called Combined Arms, which is sort of a board game which combines uh, land forces, air forces and ground forces, but it also works as like a hex-based campaign system. And I'm really interested in getting my hands on those rules. So if anyone at Warlord Game is still watching the channel and still supports, yeah, la, care package for birth, please. It is my birthday. Yeah, it is my birthday on Friday, guys, tomorrow. So yeah, uh, bye. Um, I just want, I don't need the box or anything. I just give me the rules. I want the rules. See if I can do a Burma campaign map and then run it up at Boltstorm. You can see, you see the smile on my face. This is... This is where we're going with this. Right, uh, okay, so that was the plus. Let's do the negative, yeah, which is uh, not going to show you because I'm trying to sort of save the reveal, but been in the studio, been working on completely different terrain. Been working on volcanoes, yeah, so let's mate. I've kind of messed it up and got a bit, didn't, tried to film two, 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 I tried to film two tutorials at once. Yeah, and nah, nah, nah. Yeah, and I got into a bit of a flap over it and that sort of stuff and I need to just step back and restart them and just finish one and then go back to the other and we'll see how we do with the editing. So that was the only down. Now, it's not a write-off, yeah, which is a really positive and I'm going to have them done for next week, so I'm happy, yeah, but it mustn't get too carried away. Now, I did wonder, yeah, uh, pardon for for belching but it's a hot day and for it's a rarity but I'm having a carbonized soda of no particular brand and I'm not saying I've got any particular favorite brand the, the brand I got was the one I just grabbed on a hot day so uh, moving on uh, what we're we talking about right we covered we've talked about the volcanoes yeah so I'll have those done but I was in a little bit of a flap about right What's my Terrain Tuesday video going to be? But I don't need to be, yeah, because I've got something good coming for Tuesday. Lots and lots of glorious historical terrain. That's because this weekend, yeah, I'm off to Partisan at Newark Showground on Sunday. Partisan is a war game show in the UK. It's specifically geared to historical war games. 
So there's going to be green fields as far as the eye can see. <laughs> yeah. But I've never done partisan before. Okay. Uh, we did hammerhead a little while back and took some photos. But my plan is we're going to do it properly. As in, I'm going to do the video tour, the photos, you know, proper, proper, if you know what I mean. So, that, fingers crossed, that's going to be your video on Tuesday. Okay. So, that's looking great. I'm looking forward to it, to be perfectly honest, yeah. Uh, obviously, I went up to Hammerhead, which is in exactly the same venue, and I had, that was wonderful. But that was like a couple of months ago. I was still... Yeah, I was still ill, you know, and it was good to get out. But this one, it's like, I want to get there. Uh, I've got the Wills with me. She's escorting me because the girlfriend's uh, kids have got chicken pox, so she's on quarantine because she's never had them. And I can't take the risk of being around the pox with my health and that sort of stuff just getting back. So I can't even risk it, even though I've had chicken pox. I don't even want to be in a situation of, you know, fighting off the infection right now. So I've got the little Wills with me, who's not so little as my little, <laughs> little Tasmanian devil. And we're off. So I'm hoping to actually get a little bit of gaming in as well, as well as filming the tables and everything around there. We should be setting off uh, pretty early, so it's pretty early as so I can sort of like wake the teenage girl out of a pit. <laughs> if you know her <laughs> parents, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm really looking forward to it. So if you are visiting Partisan and want to say hi, don't be shy. Come up, say hi. It'd be great to speak to you and that sort of stuff. Yeah, reach out to me. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Right. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. So that's my birthday weekend. It's my birthday tomorrow. And I'm in a special meal with my kids. Uh, I was going to be going to an old pub, pub that used to be like a pub of my youth. Yeah, called The Rigger. Yeah, or up the road. It's sort of a rock pub, and I'm sort of all sort of thinking about doing a special night. But I checked to see what bands would be on. You know, if there was classics or something new or what was going on. And on my birthday at the Rigger, it's dementia awareness evening. You couldn't make it up. You couldn't make that stuff up. So, I am not going to the rigger on my birthday to celebrate Dementia Awareness Evening. So, I think a dinner with the kids. Saturday, I'm Billy Mo No Mate, so I might just come into the studio and part with Terrain. Sunday, for the rest of my birthday weekend, technically I'm working up at Pards and filming the table. So, really good weekend and you'll catch up on that on the sunday night of course okay uh yeah catching up i like i'll have some photos but i want to save them for the vid and then the vid will come out on tuesday so that's partisan next up i want to give a shout out for the lord of print yeah dave the taylor dave the taylor dave taylor the lord of print it should be yeah if you're not aware if you can hear some sort of rumbling and that sort of stuff it's my mate ed next door yeah he's obviously working grinding stuff on his sort of lathe yeah it's only occasionally we hear him but he's a good guy anyway yeah uh we need to give a shout out to dave taylor okay because dave right now has got another kickstarter up yeah and it's called the art of now uh it is already funded it is I think he's funded 250% in like a week or something. I mean, he funded in like the first, I think he funded quicker than we did on our Kickstarter. He's already up to about 40 or 50,000, which shows you, yeah, which is important. And the reason why I'm saying it's funded so quickly and it's done so successful, because the last, because this Kickstarter is for the art of volumes four to six. Now I gave out I gave a shout out yeah to volumes one to three when he did that Kickstarter, and this Kickstarter is beasting that Kickstarter yeah, which is a really sort of which is probably the best sign of how good these books are, that so many people who bought volumes one to three yeah have jumped on volumes four to six like bang straight on it, and. There's a reason for this, yeah? The Art of books aren't like Tez, like Terrain Essentials, my book, 
okay, which was very much a how-to. If I can imagine the best way of describing the art of books, they're sort of high-end art books, yeah, but with a sort of Mel's deep thoughts running through them. So each art of book takes a certain element and really sort of picks at it, and it's not a how-to, it's more like, this is how I think, okay? And so in the first one, it was about conversions, theme setting, and the face, faces and that sort of stuff. So the three artists specifically covered one. I cannot remember their names, but you know, it's me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the girl, she did that amazing. And uh, I'm not gonna go on for like half an hour, for like 30 seconds trying to remember the names, but... The girl, she did uh, scene set, beautiful stuff. Yeah, the conversion one was brilliant, full of loads of eye candy and stuff like that, and little ideas and that sort of stuff. And the facial one was like, yeah, I'm never going to be able to paint to that level. Simple as. <laughs> yeah. Now. Yeah. Volumes uh, four to six. Yeah, I'm going to throw some graphics up as a talk, and I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. But seriously, check the Kickstarter. The link is in the description to get more in depth because you want to see this and you'll understand why people are jumping on this like crazy. Yeah. So uh, Chris Suri, yeah, from the US. Uh, his his work is focused around storytelling, composition, and reworking. Yeah. And now I've seen a couple of the clips and stuff. It looks good. Okay, so go check out Chris's stuff. Here's some, some pics. Right, next up we've got volume five, which is Tommy Soul. Yeah, he's in the UK and he is formerly known as the Miniature Painting Tutor. Really, Tom? Really, mate? Where'd you get the inspiration for that one from, eh? Yeah, but his is quite interesting. He's an amazing actual painter. Yeah, but he's sort of he's interested in something that it doesn't really explain that much what he's doing. But it's all about conceptions at the before you start work on the palette. Yeah, transferring the paint from the palette to the brush. And then from the brush to the miniature, and it's deep thought. Now, okay, this is like, all right, what you're talking about is he's talking about putting paint from one palette. That's his deep thoughts too. But remember, you're talking to a bloke who can talk for an hour on PVA and make all of it interesting and useful. So this is actually quite intriguing to me, yeah, because it's like whenever someone says, I'm going to narrow down in something that bitch, and that's what I'm going to show my thoughts about. All right, how much thinking have you got on this, mate? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, all right, This if this guy thinks he can fill his text boxes with this sort of stuff, then he's got stuff to share, and I want to read it. So I'm really interested in Tommy, the miniature painter tutor. <laughs> yeah, it's really interested. Okay, Sini Dai... Sini Nadei. I'm butchering that. I'm bound to. Yeah, from France. So I'm not going to apologise for putting it too much. You know, landing hope and glory and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, his work is focused around armies, war bands and dioramas. And it's specific. It's about, with your armies, carrying across themic elements across the entire army. Which I think is something good. And it's something that complements Dave's books, Armies, Legions and Hordes. Yeah. Then on top of that, he's uh, going to be covering war bands. Uh, specifically introducing character, characterful elements and, and bringing the war band together to tell a story. Yeah? And then finally, diorama work. Now, uh, because that's very thematic and that's very much like what I do with terrain, with like the big Burma board, try and tell stories yeah, with the terrain as well as just having terrain. Not just in how the elements carry across the, the sets and to tie them all together, but also in ways of being able to combine certain pieces to tell a little mini story, which is something I'm going to be doing with my chindits as well. So I'm actually quite interested in this, yeah, because obviously I'm getting back into my miniature painting and that sort of stuff. And so I am really quite interested in the deep thoughts of these. Now, like I said, yeah, this sounds like, well, that sounds a bit, yeah, now it's, to be clear, these are not how-to manuals. 
Yeah, these are these are coffee table manuals. These are Sunday afternoon reading and eye candy. Yeah, but with deep thoughts. But they're clearly that good of what they do from days volumes one to three. That based on the success of this Kickstarter right now. Yeah. They're damn good, and you know, if you're interested in hobby and deep, and you know, even if you just want to jump on for one volume because something, yeah, yeah, whether it's the storytelling, the pot palette, the armies, the dioramas, expanding days work, whichever, worth checking out because I love the first three books, I really do, yeah. So, yeah, well, I'll wrap that up. So, Dave's Kickstarter live on Kickstarter now. Go check it out, links below. I'll do a few more shout outs for it, but really don't miss this one, guys. Get, get it on your radar because it's going well. And Dave's got a really good reputation with these books, as well as with my book, which there's a link down below if you didn't know I've got a book as well. I me and Dave did, and it's very good. People tell me. <laughs> right, finally. Yeah, uh, the last bit. Operation Kill Team, Isolation's Reach. Yeah, I know that a load of you have had a massive interest in my mate Craig's gubbins from Uncertain Scenery. Okay, completely understandable. It's brilliant. Now, uh, I've also got his portal cabin. Now, Craig's been an absolute star. You see, the issue is I want to use it to build a kill team table. Yeah, and I need, needed to get a few more elements that I was going to stretch out and I was going to pick up. Yeah one one a month sort of thing and slowly put them together get it prepped craig being a mate and that sort of stuff he's gone well I'll tell you what you have a couple of boards get yourself started so i've got a few more of these coming i'm going to pick them up yeah which means isolation reach my kill team board is going to be starting a lot quicker and it's going to i'm going to start off with a two by two center board yeah or a corner board i've got brains ticking yeah <laughs> brains ticking but we are going to be going into 40k, we're going to be going into industrial stuff. And so, although playing up at Boltstorm has really reignited my sort of passion for gaming and the big Burma build, and we've got to finish the temple. Yeah, it's just like old days, isn't it? I've got that to do, that to do, that to do. I'm off here. It's great. Yeah, but above all, because everything's watchful, everything's slowly falling into place, yeah, and because I've got these, yeah, we're going to be starting the industrial stuff, and so there's going to be Burma build stuff, there's going to be volcanic let's makes, and there's going to be isolations reach. So one thing I need you guys to do for me is don't let me get too carried away, okay? Just be in the comments below and just sense check me, yeah, because there is there could be a tendency for me to get a little bit carried away. So I'm going to focus right now on the fact that, yeah, I've got three more, four more of these boards coming. Yeah, which means I've definitely got a two by two together, which is the minimum I, I felt I needed to build, start getting the industrial stuff on. So this is coming and we're probably going to be cracking on with this next month, as in as soon as Craig's got me the boards and sort of stuff, which I imagine will take about a week or so because he's got to process orders. Uh, any of you guys who've placed orders off the back of the last video, thank you for supporting my mate. Yeah, uh, you know, he does appreciate it and so do I. I watch call it at the same time. Uh, I should get these hopefully early next month and we can start the industrial stuff then. So I've got volcanoes to work in over the last of May. We've got big Burma build stuff to, to potter around with. Yeah, and then we're going to be dabbling around with a few different things, but we start the the kill team board. And I've got to learn kill team, which is good because they play it off the bolt storm. So that wraps it up. There is a whole load of links in the description for you to follow on. You can check out on certain scenery. You must check out Dave's Kickstarter. Yeah, and also I've got a book down there. And finally, guys, yeah, uh, there's a good chance if it's after the, like sort of a couple of hours after this being released, it's my birthday. So wish me happy birthday. I'm a right old 48 today. 48? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. I will catch you on Sunday after Partisan. If you'd like to, links are on the screen as usual. If you'd like to wish me well, there's a link to PayPal down below. You can send me a, a what you call it, uh, something off there. Or there's the Amazon wish list. Yeah. In the meantime, you can sing me happy birthday and I'll catch you Sunday. All the best, yeah? Ta-da!